Hello Gators, this is 11-3 Pyramids and Cones, Day 1. I can use the volumes of right and oblique pyramids and cones to solve problems. Let's take a look at Cavalieri's principle for pyramids. How are these volumes of pyramids uh, with the same base and height related? Notice they all have the same cross section, might not be lined up the same way, but since they have the same cross section and the same height, we say these two volumes are equal. For a square pyramid and a cube, when they share the same height and they share the same base, the square pyramid will only fill one third of the cube. So this is an important relationship that tells us what the volume of a pyramid will be. The volume of a pyramid will be one third the area of the base times the height, because the area of the base and the height will be the volume of the prism, and we can only fill one-third of the prism. Let's go ahead and use this formula for this hexagonal pyramid. Notice I've already drawn the hexagon over here on the side and it's been given to us that the base, this whole base, is 48. And here it is right here telling me this whole base is 48. So we don't have to figure out the area here. It's already been given to us. So let's go through the steps that will help us figure out the uh, formula for uh, the volume. Okay, step one is to write out the formula. Every time you write out the formula, you are getting more and more familiar with that formula. Next step is to substitute for the area of the base, which is 48. And this H stands for the height of the pyramid, and the height of the pyramid is 9. All right, I can do a little reducing before I multiply. Three goes into here one time, three goes into here three times, and I just have to multiply 48 times uh, three, and that answer is 144. Now this is a volume, so we're going to say millimeters cubed. That's how many cubes are gonna be able to fit inside of it. All right, let's go ahead and talk about uh, this problem. Um, we want to first draw the base, and the base is a rectangle, and so this is the base, and it's uh, 4 and 3. So the area of the base will be like finding the area of a rectangle, which will be 12. Now that we have the base, we can again start off with our formula. Volume is equal to 1 third area of the base times the height. I've taken time to find the area of the base, which is 12. And now I look to my picture to see how tall the pyramid is, 7. Uh, do a little reducing. And this goes into here one time, this goes into here four times. And so the answer is 28, and this is cubic feet. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another. This is another pyramid. This is a triangular pyramid. And I'm, I drew the triangle, and this length right here, the base is 17.5, and the height right here is 6, and so this is a little height right here. So I'm going to figure out the area of the base, and since it's a triangle shape, I'm going to do 1 half base times height, which means I have to do 1 half 17.5 times 6. I can do a little reducing. Um, Two goes in here once, two goes in here three times. Let me go ahead and multiply 17.5 times three, and I'm going to get 52.5. Now that's the only the area of the base. Now I can proceed and find the volume. Uh, volume is equal to one third the area of the base times the height. The area of the base we figured out is 52.5. And the height right here is being told to us is 10. So let me go ahead and put that in the calculator. 525 divided by 3. And the answer is uh, 175 and cubic meters. Let's go ahead and do a backwards problem. And we're given some information we want to find the height. So again, we start off with the formula. Volume is equal to one-third uh, area of the base times the height. We've been given the volume, 144. 
we've been given the uh, base, which is 48, and we are looking for the height, which is H. Let me go ahead and do some reducing. And three goes into here once, three goes into here uh, 16 times. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 16. So H is equal to, and 144 divided by 16 is nine. And so this answer is nine. And since this is a height, we just say centimeters. Okay, our last problem is the volume of the composite solid. This is two uh, figures, a prism and a pyramid. Now the prism has a, a square base here. It's four by four. So uh, remember the formula is area of the base times the height. And that is going to be a 16. And the height right here of the prism is five. So this answer is 80. Now to figure out the area, I mean the volume of the pyramid, it's another formula. It's one third area of the base times the height. Now the base of the pyramid is also a square. So we can go ahead and put the uh, 16 in here. And the height over here is six. Uh, I can do a little reducing here. Three goes into here once, three goes into here twice. And then, so that's going to be 32. So the volume of the prism is 80. The volume of the pyramid is 32. And when you add them together, that's 112. And it'll be inches cubed. And that's the end of the screencast.